from Yellowstone to the Yucatan Peninsula. Welcome and welcome back, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon. So many gold passes. I've got crazy stuff to talk about gold passes in Clash of Clans today because this is Gold Pass Clash episode number 152. And uh, uh, I, I've got a free gold pass. It, it's true. I have a free gold pass and I have so many to give away. I have maxed out many of my accounts with gifting gold passes. So if you are not subscribed to the channel already, now would be a great opportunity to go ahead and do that because I promise there is going to be importance update information coming fairly soon. And I promise to bring you the earliest and most accurate version of said information. Also, I know it's annoying that I keep mentioning code Galadon, but I can't begin to tell you how important it is and how it really does keep the channel running right now. So thank all of you that are using code Galadon and let's get on to the insane hero upgrades with gold pass clash of clans. And yes, in just a moment, I will show you the crazy number of gold passes I have. I think I have more gold passes than anybody else in all of Clash of Clans. Yet they dwindle nearly every day. If you followed me on Twitter, now known as X, you would know this. Uh, okay, just let me show you as an example right here, a few of my accounts that are currently hoarding gold passes. We have 46 sitting here. Many of these have gone out already on Twitter, on X, whatever the heck you want to call that place over there now and of course in game it is so easy now to donate gold passes this is something i've been waiting for for literally years and now that i can i want to get as many out there as we possibly can okay of course as usual i am talking over all of the amazing upgrades we've made to the grand warden and i believe the single farket interno yes okay so we've got that done I'm, again, this isn't really a what to upgrade first style account. I'm more going on my own preferences and whatever I think I want to do next and whatever I can afford. We are also trying to grind through the walls at the same time as we get through the defenses so that we don't find ourselves way behind on a huge wall grind like yeah, like you see over there in No Cash Clash at Town Hall 14. Of course, Clan Games helps out a little bit. 12 wall rings. The raid weekends get us wall rings every single weekend if you remember to purchase them. And, uh, well, I guess that's about it, right? Oh, no, there's some in the gold pass. There's always some rings in the gold pass as well. So those things do help accelerate the progress a little bit. And I feel like we have made significant progress through Town Hall 15 already. Now it's a matter of, like I said, upgrading just whatever happens to fit. Like if, okay, the... That doesn't, I'll, I'll find, ha. Ah. I mean, whatever we have the gold or elixir or dark elixir for at the moment, right now it's going to be a spell tower going to level two so we can unlock that poison spell so we can use that in the future because I do like the poison better than the rage. That's just me. Now we've got another army camp upgraded. So that's good. Army's looking like it's full size, more or less. We'll get to that in a moment. And also we're making those critical decisions about what troops to upgrade. Healers because of queen charge. Or maybe miners. Yeah, miners, let's go. That's a major upgrade. Ha, 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 ha. See what I did there, miner? All right, anyway. So we used a book, finished that up, and we'll, next time we have some elixir, we'll get another maybe healer upgrade going. What else is happening in the home village? I guess we might as well do the other spell tower so that we can have two poisons, although I don't know if I'm going to set them both to poison. Maybe we'll get them upgraded so we can do the other one because invis is really, really cool, right? But that's another level, and that's for later. Okay, in the meantime, we've moved on to another day, another upgrade, and another builder free. You can see that lots of things are happening here, unlike in No Cash Clash. It's constant upgrades. We constantly have builders coming free. That's because we are, of course, staggering those upgrades. And then, speaking of staggering... 300 or so walls left okay this is one of my favorite upgrades by the way it is pretty cool to have a fully maxed out giga inferno on your town hall 15 and i'm going to prioritize that even though it necessarily doesn't put out the most damage i feel like it could lead to a few more one stars and especially since at the beginning of today's video you might have noticed we are still running the southern teaser troll base in gold pass clash and by the way just a footnote we are having pretty good success with it 
So unless you come across a hardcore farmer who brought his sneaky goblins, you will cause some attackers some significant headaches using that base. And if you want the link, uh, just go look up one of the Southern Teaser videos on my channel. There are several actually out there by now. Okay, so a couple more walls and then back down and I think, oh yeah, dark barracks, okay. You'll notice what's lacking, right? That is dark elixir. We have not been making a lot of dark elixir upgrades recently and that's because, well, we have to keep boosting those stupid super troops and I don't make a concerted effort. All it would take is 30 to 60 minutes of focusing on dark elixir farming and we could get some more hero upgrades started. In the meantime, you can see Oh man, there's a lot of upgrades remaining for Town Hall 15. Moving on, time flies when you're having fun. Notice, we just in this episode, we started that workshop upgrade, and now it has completed. That's because, yes, Galadon brings you many, many days and often weeks of footage in every single video. It's action-packed! I hope you guys enjoy this style of video making. Let me know in the comments if you do. Okay, let, let, let's, let's move on to the serious stuff, and that is the heroes. We always focus on the heroes early whenever we go to a new town hall as quickly as possible. We are going to get all of them maxed out. Of course, you know we maxed out the Archer Queen in near record time. Now the Barbarian King joins her nearly level 90. Soon we'll be able to back-to-back -back hammer, and yes, the town hall on its way to getting that third star. Now, I told you we would talk about camps. Well, thanks to Phil Bloss 6390, it turns out that there was a camp sitting up here on the completed side that I had erroneously put up there without upgrading. So we have to fix that. Thank you, Philip. I really appreciate that and others that noticed it as well. We'll use a Ruin of Elixir to fill up the Elixir. And then we'll go ahead, wait, no, no, hold on. We'll go ahead and do a wall first, right? Because we only have one builder free. And we, remember, want to use that elixir rather than lose it and get it raided. So there we go. The camp is now going to go right back to where it was before Philip so kindly pointed that out to us in the comments. Yes, I do read the comments, even if I don't heart and reply to every single one. I do read as many as I possibly can. And uh, if you have anything important to say, Put it down there. More important than that, put it on X, Twitter. More important than that, come by a live stream and talk to me in person as we roll Whoa. on to the status report. Trophies back into Champion League. Gems, we're behind uh -huh. no cash, but we still have a lot of gems to spend, so that feels good. The heroes, I believe today the Barbarian King got a couple levels and so did the Grand Whoa. Warden. We have under 300 walls to go. Uh. And like I just said, please do stop by a live yeah. stream on Facebook Gaming. Thank you, Galafam, for watching all the way to the end of the video. I know not a lot of you do, so it means a lot. Now get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and you'll be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I hope to see every last one of you back here again tomorrow for more Full Attack. <laughs>